My parents now don't really have to trick or treat with any kids unless I want to take my niece and nephew. Uh, so now they're the treat givers. And they do something that I think is brilliant. What? My parents give out like hostess snacks and little Debbie cakes and stuff like that, which is so smart because they're way cheaper than buying full size candy bars, but they feel like a full size candy bar. Right. It's got heft to it or, or at least right. size. Yeah. It's yeah. got surface area to it. Yeah. They look big. Yeah. And uh, I've actually seen a couple of times when I've gone to help them hand out candy, um, kids will turn around and yell to the group behind them and stuff, guys, this is the house. Oh, <laughs> like so you, they've got a rep. They're infamous. I know I love that. That's <laughs> And great. honestly, that's kind of, I think I'm going to carry on that tradition once I do start actually staying home and like giving out candy instead of being a party animal. Now, what do you think? Because I know there's plenty of kids with allergies and want to res- be respectful of them. Yes. And I know that if you put a teal pumpkin out, that's, is that, I don't know. There's so many different signals colors that you can use these days. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about just in general, the concept of giving away little toys? I love that idea. Instead of candy. That's actually something else that I'd want to do. I think in my ideal world, what I really want to do is first off, I want to have a cotton candy maker. And for at least the first hour, maybe two hours, I want to stand on the front lawn with all my treats and stuff and also give out cotton candy to the kids. Because I think that'd be just the most baller. I do too, but that's still not packaged. Well, yeah, but, but they if also, they're watching, they're watching you, you make, make it, it. Yeah. And the parents are there. Yeah. 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 Well, and also, like, I'm going to be the only person with a cotton candy maker. Like, (laughs) they'll hunt me down. It'll be fine. One thing that I think is really important is have some, like, glow stick bracelets or mini coloring books or novelty pencils or something. Yeah. Um, Have some little toys just in case there are kids who can't have candy. And basically, uh, if kids already have enough candy and they want something else, then it keeps things fresh for them, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think it's tough to find a bunch of anything that is cool enough, but still affordable enough to give away. Do you know what I mean? Not if you use a little magazine that I loved as a kid called Oriental Trading. Oh yeah, Oriental Trading Company. So my grandma and my aunt owned a preschool. They actually sold it a few years ago, um, but they would get all kinds of fun stuff for that. Uh, and they would get like, they do... um events for the preschool too, where they'd invite kids and it'd be not only the kids that they're teaching, but also their slightly older siblings and stuff. So they'd have to get tons and tons and tons of little goodies. And they caught, they were able to get so many things from there for so cheap. I really liked the mini slinkies. I thought those were always fun. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, like novelty, novelty pencils and stuff. None of that's really expensive, even if you're buying a hundred of them, especially if you're like a normal adult with a good job. You can afford it. Come on. Yeah. What's what's a typical Halloween budget? Is it 50 bucks? I think it depends on how baller you want to be. Right. My ideal Halloween budget for goodies, 200 bucks. Whoa. 100 to spend on little toys and stuff. Probably 50 to spend on the cotton candy machine. And then 50 for... Well, actually, may, I might have to reallocate that a little because I think that cotton candy machine might be a little bit more. I mean, it depends on... Because I'd probably just buy the machine at that point, you know? Right. <laughs> and then you'd have to amortize it over, you know, 10, 20 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think 200 is is good if you want to go balls to the wall. <laughs> right. That actually might change, though, if I have some time to go and see if there are some cheap hostess somewhere. Because I'd spend another, like, $20, $30 to, like, make a kid's day. You had me at cheap hose. <laughs> I'm kidding. Funny, funny. (laughs) Oh, one more Halloween-related thing I wanted to mention. I'm sure that uh, a lot of people, Uh couples costumes-wise, went as Barbie and Ken. Oh, I'm sure. I saw the best idea too late, Uh, but a Barbenheimer couples costume. The woman goes as Barbie. The dude goes as Oppenheimer. Okay, that actually is a really good idea. Right, right. Why didn't we think of that? How imperfect. Sometimes I just don't connect the dots, man. To be fair, though. That was one of the biggest memes of the year. Yeah. Well, and also, like, I didn't want to do something that everyone else was going to do. That's why I'm doing Batgirl. That and also, a big reason why I'm doing Batgirl is because last year, I bought these really rad yellow boots that I just loved. And I already had my Halloween costume when I bought them. So I wasn't going to change it then. But I was like, okay, 
because of these boots next year, I'm going to be Batgirl. And I'm and now I'm doing it. it. It's sort of like when you have one thing in the fridge that becomes the inspiration for the entire dinner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got to use these cocktail <laughs> shrimp today. Uh-huh. <laughs> what else am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. Now... Really quick, I want to touch on one of my favorite things that I remember getting as a kid for Halloween. Yeah, for Halloween. Um, it was a combo of a soda pop, a hot chocolate packet, and a popcorn packet all tied up. It was from the rich neighborhood. Okay. And so I was like, oh, that's a good idea. A little movie snack pack, kind yeah. of? Yeah. Okay. And it was one of the mini sodas, too. It wasn't the really big, normal size cans. It was a mini can. But I was like, uh, this is genius. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even as a kid, I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so creative. That's so smart I, of them. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use that someday when I'm an adult. <laughs> what I would love to do, you know how people forget really obvious things that right. you think everybody knows? Uh -huh. I don't know if kids these days know about Coke and Mentos. Oh, that, that be, would be the most chaotic Halloween that, <laughs> giveaway. That'd be a great little care package to send. I love that. B bundled Coke and Mentos. And you got to tell them about it when you give it to them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to say, hey, kid, you want to play a good trick on your parents? Yeah. Take one of these, pop it in here, hand it to mom. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> now we've talked about some of our favorite treats, but what's been your favorite costume? Of yours or of mine? That you've ever done. I think the one I nailed the best was Negan from Walking Dead. Ooh. I've, I've never watched an episode, but more than once I've gotten, you look like that guy. <laughs> and and they mean Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I mm -hmm. started getting it, I guess, in 08 when he was a patient on ER and died. Oh, I went to a meeting the next morning and they're like, you look like that guy that died on ER last <laughs> night. And then it followed everything he does. That's funny. You know, then it was Negan from Walking Dead, and uh, and and here it is. I thought it turned out pretty good. How about you? Um, first off, that's my favorite costume of yours too. <laughs> uh, mine was definitely a few years ago. I went as Edgar Allan Poe. That's right. <laughs> now I wish I would have had a raven because I think that would have really sold it, but I couldn't find one anywhere. Yeah, because we didn't have a spirit Halloween that year. That. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's like a Bob's Burger quality <laughs> pun right? that you did, yeah. Well, and I like it because it's almost a slutty Halloween costume, <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is always fun to do anyway. But the but face was just exactly. It's as attractive as I think you are. <laughs> it's an off-putting sexy Halloween costume, <laughs> yeah. which is what's so fun about it. <laughs> Cognitive dissonance, yeah. Because sure. that's the thing. I'm not dressing up for men. I'm dressing up for me. <laughs> right. And that's the proof right there is that I did that to my mug. <laughs> well, and if the if the men really knew what they were doing, <laughs> they they would seek out people like you. I mean, really, I do think that the funny girl is kind of the one to go for. <laughs> uh -huh. 